Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here, bringing you guys another Boruto Naruto Next Generation discussion on the fallout from Boruto Chapter 76. And today, it's only right we begin diving into the biggest elf in the room that we got in the chapter, which is as of right now, Sarda and Sumire are immune to Ada's ability to control hearts through enchantment and control. This chapter has led to a lot of various explanations from the fandom on what is the reason why Sarda and Sumire are immune. And today, I want to look at the most popular reason. Reasons. I want to weigh in on them and I want to give my take on why I think Sarda and Sumire are immune. So jumping right in, why do I think Sarda and Sumire are immune? Well, that's actually going to serve as number one on this top five list. I think the answer is simple and it's been in our faces the entire time. Ada's powers, they require eye contact, specifically direct full frontal eye contact in order to take effect. I've been saying I believe this to be the case from the moment we first met Ada and she made direct eye contact face to face with Ko where she stopped him from being able to attack her and started down that path of Cole being a scent for Ada. When Damon and Ada arrived in Konoha, the people who looked directly at her, Sai, Chocho, Inojin, Miski, and Konohamaru, they were immediately placed under control. The worst case of this is definitely Sai, someone who suddenly forgot that he had his wife at home somewhere. Sarda and Shikadai immediately came to the conclusion that they must not have fallen under her control due to not getting a good look at her, while Sarda Sarda said there might be the possibility that she was immune for some other reason. That was our first sign that maybe direct eye contact is the case. However, in this chapter, we see that after Shikadai says he's going to go meet with Ada alongside Sumire and Sarda, the first panel we see is Ada looking full front straight ahead at Shikadai. Sumire and Sarda are both looking at Shikadai, who's now love struck by Ada. And in that moment, Sarda comes to the conclusion that the power only works when you get a good look at Ada. And she makes it a point to say to herself she needs to avoid looking directly at Ada. Sumire and Sarda both share looks and neither of them is shown looking at Ada when Ada says they're going to go to the bedroom and talk in private away from Boruto, Kawaki, and Damon. This is the second time in two chapters that we've gotten somebody saying that you can't look directly at Ada. If from here we start seeing Ikimoto and his three assistants start placing emphasis on Sarda and Sumire's eyes in the coming panels that we see. We see Sarda's head turn slightly towards Ada, but her eyes are looking at Ada from the corner. Sarda is testing out the theory that she said earlier in the chapter to not look Ada directly in the eyes. Sumire, while on the other side of Ada, is doing a similar thing, looking at Ada out the corner of her eyes without her face fully turned face to face to see her. Otherwise, her eyes wouldn't be positioned in the corner where she's looking at Ada. They'd be positioned straight forward ahead. When Ada turns her head to speak to Sarda, Sarda is shown in the next panel, looking in the opposite direction direction with her head turned away from Ada just as Ada's face is turned full all the way towards Sarda with her nose going from being angled like it was in the prior panel to now being pointed directly at Sarda. In the panel beneath that we see Sarda once again back looking at Ada out the corner of her eyes and we get a close-up of Ada's eyes looking towards Sarda and another close-up of Sarda looking out the corner of her eyes at Ada and we have Sumire doing the similar thing out the corner of her eyes before she goes to distract her with the talk about Kawaki and Sumire is again looking out the corner of her eyes, never fully turning her face in order to meet her gaze, so both of her eyes line up with Ada's eyes. It's always at that slanted direction. I think between this and the emphasis that Ikimoto keeps putting on the eyes all throughout the chapter, always being shown from a corner after Sarda said to not directly look into the eyes, that's a very telling sign in my opinion. When I discussed this with a patron in the Patreon Discord server, they made a really good point. This feels a lot similar to Aizen from Bleach with this with this. Tokyo Suigetsu, where the weakness is so simple, but it's also got a very high bar to clear, which is to escape Aizen's Kokyo Suigetsu, you have to touch the blade before the perfect hypnosis can actually activate, just as it's going to be hard to avoid looking at Ada without full frontal face-to-face -face straight line eyesight contact. Having to look at someone through the side eye is going to be a very hard bar for anyone to clear, unless you're Sumire, who's been shown giving people the side eye in every chapter since Amado's ever arrived in Konoha. However, let's look at some of the other suggestions I've seen people throw out because these are oftentimes more creative than what we've actually seen in the story itself. So at number two, we have the idea that Sumire is immune to Ada because of her connection to Nui. The reason being is that people said, hey, while Nui was something created by Donzo, Sasuke took a look at 
that scroll that was left behind and he said he was shocked that Donzo had gotten so close to something related to Kaguya and in the Boruto novels which were written by the former writer of Boruto Ukyo Kodachi Nue did have some implied link to the Otsutsuki clan despite being developed by Donzo's people the belief is that Nue in that connection might offer some resistance to Ada's control powers extending that Otsutsuki like immunity to Sumire by extension now you might say well we haven't seen Nue in the manga but there are things to consider from the fact that the Boruto novels cover the events in the anime in further detail and those novels also feature official art by Ikimoto inside the pages of the novel and he's drawn new way inside the novel itself the Boruto manga character profile for Sumire lists new way as being Sumire summoning animal and those profiles have been shown to reveal relevant information to both the anime and manga before the anime and manga revealed it case in point how Boruto had some of his jutsu listed before you saw it in the anime and it's just how Chocho's butterfly mode was revealed in the character profile years before you saw it in the anime now this would be very interesting if it is the case and it would possibly be something that we see Amato didn't account for when given Ada's those powers when he experimented on her if this ends up being the case score one for the community because that's a very creative idea and if it ends up being true wow you guys are undefeated when it comes to prediction no jutsu now at number three we have the idea that Sarda and Sumire are immune because they already possess a type of love that is stronger than any infatuation that Ada might be able to conjure up inside of them Sarda's powers have evolved out of love as we covered on the channel numerous times and her love for a village being deep enough that she wants to become Hokage it would fit as being something that can balance out Ada's powers because there are some forms of love that run deeper than your love for a lover or the love for a family or a comrade and this would be a form of love that Ada's unfamiliar with on the other hand Sumire her love for Boruto might just be so strong that it breaks Ada's control because it's basically some fairy tale level writing where true love conquers all. Boruto is the prince charming of the fairy tale and Sumire is the princess of the fairy tale, if you will. Though the issues with love for a person being strong enough being brought up, it is interesting, but it does have a plot hole in it. Sai loves Eno. Shikamaru loves Tamari. Is Sumire's love somehow stronger than the love for a husband and wife? I don't know if that's going to happen. If it does, that's going to cause a lot of problems but this is naruto and we've seen our fair share of retcons in the past so it would not shock me if this was shoehorn in there now at number four we have the idea that since sarda and sumire both potentially have feelings for an otsuski with one of them being in love with boruto and the other one being in love with kawaki which i will let you guys pick because i've recently learned how passionate shippers can be when you don't agree with their ships or you give love to another ship even though i've covered every ship for boruto and kawaki except for sumire and boruto which i'm gonna do at some point i just have to sit down and rewatch the anime but the amount of dms i got saying go unalive yourself because i decided to put sarda and boruto on the thumbnail for the recent chapter spoilers is absolutely alarming i feel sorry for boruto fans whenever they announce whoever boruto gets shipped with because one half of the fandom's gonna start burning their manga volumes because you guys are passionate however back to the point though if this ends up being the case being in love with the Natsuki counters his power if that happens i'm not gonna say it's a plot hole nor am i gonna say it's convenient we're in uncharted territory here and kishimoto as a writer has a blank slate i.e a tabula rasa to handle this situation the way that he wants to because we're in uncharted territory now at number five we have the idea that sarda and sumire they aren't simps like everyone else amado said the Ada's powers affects people in different ways so maybe this could just be them being so red pilled that Ada's powers don't actually work on them i mean I guess that could be the case, but we should have seen some symptoms by now too. It doesn't just have to be like, oh my gosh, Ada's so hot. Oh my gosh, I'm so horny right now. There are other signs that show that you're under her control, but it'll be interesting to see how this actually shakes out. You guys know my stance by now. The simplest explanation is likely the most obvious since it's hidden in plain sight and Naruto's always been about seeing through deception. And my 20 years in the fandom, from what I've seen, the more complex the idea, the less likely it is to be true. The more simplistic the idea, the more creatively it's likely to be used to separate itself from whatever trope is already extending. And the more likely it is to be true. But nevertheless, we're going to consider all scenarios because that's just part of the fun of speculating until the chapter comes out. Now, I'm curious to know you guys thought thoughts about all this though while you think that over click here to watch my chainsaw man chapter review or click here to watch my board to chapter 76 review if you haven't already